Hey everyone, so just another instinctive video about coding. So polymer coatings. Um, I did get it fast tracked and I've made significant improvements. Like, um, so if you don't know how chemistry research goes, you basically have to, I'm driving through Atlanta right now. Um, it's pretty bad. Don't do this kids. Um, so last time I did the coating, it was okay. I successfully grafted one type of polymer onto the plastic, like, completely. Um, but there were some issues with it, and uh, it wasn't perfect. Well, I've been working with some more, and it's closer to perfect now. So the feeling, the soft, buttery feeling, it's more than I ever imagined. It's like, it's like, how do I describe it? It's like butter or like clouds, or like, so if you know mechanical keyboards, normal, GTS 2 would be like um, Cherry MX uh, Brown. It's tactile, but there's like, it's it's like got that feeling. So then nitride coating, it was more like Cherry MX Blue. So it was fast and it was, it was really hard. So this polymer coating is like Cherry MX Red, which means it's like so soft. It's like a freaking cloud. Um, maybe I should pull over. Um, so I've, I've done a lot of work. I figured out how to get the polymer coating even thinner, extremely consistent, and like less than 10 microns thick. I have the concentration almost perfect. I have production almost perfect. I can scale up once the boss approves it and I buy some more glassware. But all of the groundwork has basically been done. I only have a few more tests. I wanna test three more polymers, and next week, I'm gonna have a really, really exciting video. And the cool thing is, I've already shipped um, the first wave out to testers. So, uh, Bradley Drews, uh, Lucas Etter, um, Patrick Ponce, he's getting a, a, tr a coated Valk, which is like, the Valk coated is so amazing. It is like, it's, how to describe this Valk? So like with the normal Volk, I would get lockups and it would just feel off. And especially black plastic, I hated black plastic Volks. And then the first treatments were like, I mean the coatings, I should stop saying treatments. It's not a treatment, it's a coating. The first coating was eh, it was okay. It was like my main for like a few days, but I was like, there's gotta be a better way. So I did it using the new process and it was just phenomenal in my opinion. So maybe Patrick will like it. Um, we're also sending this out to JKC, Elise Devin, we got this out to premium intern Mikey. Um, we got this uh, shipped out to Sam Young. And uh, we're gonna see what they think about this. So I was gonna do like a video with an average on it, but I was just too sleep deprived that week and it wasn't good. So, and I couldn't, I just couldn't talk. So um, I'm gonna do that soon. I'm really busy this week, like super mega, ultra mega busy, like never, I haven't been this busy in a while. So, um, hopefully they're going to have opinions up soon, and uh, this polymer treatment, polymer coating, polymer coating, their cubes also come with a secret lube, and uh, this lube is going to be a new experimental lube, and I really hope that their cubes don't get too fast. So if you're in the first wave of testing and you're watching this, just uh, tighten up the tensions and then gum it up a little bit if it gets too fast. But I think you're in for a very pleasant surprise. It's gonna be a very soft, smooth, almost, it's like, it's like a knife cutting through jello. That's what, that's what it feels like. These cubes are so soft and we can apply this to any cube I want. So the future is gonna be amazing guys. Now that we have almost complete control over the plastic, because we can coat it with any, almost anything we want, as long as the polymers will mesh. Um, so, um, just a quick pro update. If I'm fast tracking this, so maybe in about a month we should have this listed on the store, but that's not a promise. Um, and as of now, the second wave is going to ship out next week, and then the third wave, which will cover all sponsorees and testers among all brands, because some of our sponsorees are like Gans. Some of them are Chi Yi, and the first batch was only one Vulk and a bunch of GTS 2s. So I am pretty confident the testers are going to like it, and we're hopefully going to get this out for everyone. Um, 
my uh, secret project, like unrelated to cubing, is delayed for like two months now. And uh, next week I'm gonna have really groundbreaking stuff. So I am working hard to get this out for y'all and hopefully it'll be on soon. But testing things in chemistry is pretty difficult because you have to identify a solvent system. Is, does this solvent work? Um, does this polymer work? Did I get the concentration right? And don't tell Phil this, but once I made a whole batch, um, like a big batch, like two liters worth of chemicals, I was like, this is it, I got the, I got the formula. And then I mixed in ethyl acetate and the whole thing just started foaming and it crashed out and I was like, oh God, that was like a hundred dollars of chemicals. So testing is, testing is expensive and it takes time and, and effort. So the fact that I've gotten polymer coating this fast is, it's a minor miracle. So I'm really, really hoping everyone likes it. So see y'all in the next video.